it's season three of Piccadilly Talks, and we are having a follow-up conversation with our guest, Professor Felix Akinladejo of the University of Technology. We started our conversation with him about the integration of artificial intelligence in education, but it was so compelling we had to continue the conversation with Prof. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the ethical considerations for artificial intelligence because machines that become so uh, knowledgeable of human behavior developed by humans need to consider moral implications for their actions. And so Prof, thank you for staying with us to continue the conversation because <coughs> quite in the ways that the internet evolved, for example, as a technology, and we now have the dark web, for example, that mm -hmm. does not consider ethics as closely as it should. Mm -hmm. In the same way, there are bad actors, persons with ill intentions, who have talent in computer science and might move into the field of developing artificial intelligence for uses that do not benefit society. <coughs> when you consider educating young people, mm -hmm. Um, about AI and training them to uh, develop the intelligence, um, what are some of the things that we need to be paying attention to? Thank you, uh, Angie. We have to pay attention to what I would call responsible use of AI. Okay. AI has to be trained with a lot of data. This data has to be acquired. And in acquiring the data, the issue of privacy okay. is very, very key. These days, we are battling with cyber attack. So if you acquire sensitive information, in fact, we are now in the era of uh, data protection. Yes. Which you can be liable for. Whatever happened. Yes, the Data Protection Act Good. came into effect just last, last year. So we have to be very sensitive yes. when we acquire the data that we are using to train yeah. AI. So the and source not material the source for material. training the for AI is training the first the area, consideration. The first consideration, the privacy and the protection of those data. Because those data can be very sensitive. Understood. Also, bias bias yes in, in the data what does that look like when the data that has been used to train the intelligence is, is biased. biased what are some of the implications in real life it will skew for example let me use a simple case yes it, it's not relevant but it's, it's it's close close we like jerk pork here in jamaica jerk pork that's jerk a pork. is that right yes it's our sir. delicacy yes sir so if we train an AI that is going to promote our jerk pork, yes. we will be happy. That's to do a brilliant so. idea. However, when you do that in Iran, in Iran, that's in not a, a Muslim thing. country, not a thing. Hmm? Mm -mm. It's a taboo. Yes. So if the expert that is going to acquire the data to train this AI is coming from that part of the world. And our aim is to promote. promote our delicacy, which is pork. Yes. Where, you see where conflict. the bias and the conflict Problems. And will be? Hmm. So, so, so we have to, the data has to be contextually sourced. Yes. To ensure that the target yes. is, 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 is determined. Culturally relevant. Co that is it. That's the word. Hmm. Culturally relevant. Yes. It's not those you know, who has a particular outlook of life that is far different from yes. another aspect of our life, for yes. example. Or you are gathering data now about violence. You exclude Sherry Garden, you exclude Beverly Hill because you think it must come from Tifoli Garden. Who tells you? Bias. Bias. And so Some of the data, crime data that will be coming from that upper scale mm. community, 
you will be surprised that my surprise surpass yes. those. So those. So the results so might suggest that there is a particular problem in a particular place, and exactly. it might not be a, might true, not reflection. Be a true reflection. Uh, another so, important bias uh, mm -hmm. we could make, because bias is so important because yes. the results are seen as factual. Yes. And if there is bias, mm -hmm. students, policy makers, lawmakers could be horribly misinformed and exactly. make decisions for a wide group of people mm -hmm. that are horribly, that are horribly inaccurate. inaccurate. Let's talk about racial bias too. Mm -hmm. There are some artificial intelligence yes. uh, systems mm -hmm. that are programmed mm -hmm. to read skin mm -hmm. and the tone of the skin, of skin stops at a point. Aha. And so when your skin interacts with that technology yes. and it is at a hue that wasn't programmed, that yes. wasn't fed in the data that developed the intelligence. You are skewed out. Error. You are skewed does out. Does not recognize, I won't tell you which grade yes. of the color scale <laughs> some of these issues have happened. Yes. But if you consider where we are yes. and who we are talking yes. and where a lot of the development has happened in the first world, yes. then you understand that there are some ethnicities yes. that could be impacted. Impacted, that's exactly, that's where the bias is. Yes. Another option is, let there be an opt-in and opt-out. Opt-in and, and opt-out. Opt out. Tell me about that one now. Anybody should, that is involved in AI projects should be able to say at any time that I'm not interested again if it is not according to his or her wishes. So oh. some people are locking into into AI project, you know, and yes. you want to opt out, there's no way to opt out. You go to a site like this, you go in like this, but they don't give you an option to go out. Even when you opt out, it's still up to you in. That's unethical. Mm. Give the, you know, option for people to either be engaged in what you have developed or to opt out without any, you know, penalty at all. That's very, very critical. Yes. In the day in which people must be able to choose what to do. Yes. So, <clears throat> because, because I, I, I like the practical example. So that's mm -hmm. like when we're using, could you say, some social media platforms. Yes. That Because sometimes we don't understand that machine learning yes. is a large part of artificial intelligence. Yes, yes. And so as you scroll on your social media, mm -hmm. the machinery behind the platform that you're interacting with yes. is learning your behavior. Exactly. It's listening. It's observing yes. your trends. Yes. And then it That's feeds you data. Without you knowing. Without you knowing, yes. according to your patterns. Yes. And so sometimes when you inquire through that platform, yeah. what you receive yeah. is as structured by the machine yeah. and not necessarily unbiased and information. And at that point, at that you want point, to opt out. I want to opt out. Then you should be able to opt out. But we're not. Unethical. That's and unethical. That's what I am saying. It is very unethical to do so. And also, we must have what we call stakeholder engagement. All right. You cannot... Just because you are an expertise in AI or in computer science, you just develop something and just put it on to people. No. Mm. Focus groups. Focus group. You know. Testing, beta testing this the, the system. Exactly. Using the live, you know, yes. people pilot testing to see what will be the feedback before yes. you roll things out. But these days because of money, you know, everything has to be finished within project and between within cost. Yes. But at the expense of so that's, that's profit. I call it profit before people. people. That's unethical. All Very right. unethical. So we must have integrate. We must have voices. Yes. And yes. also there are other emerging technology that are coming. Yes. People don't know. It is your responsibility to let them know that, okay, this is what is coming. This is the implication. What of, for example, job loss. All right. Let us be honest. So that is a part yeah, of the ethical, ethical considerations. Ethical say, okay, oh, indeed, don't, don't come and tell me that, uh, oh, we are still going to retain your job or we are going to go into this artificial intelligence project. Know that you are going to be retrained to do other things, but you will lose this one that you have. Mm. Let them be, let them, let make people prepare for what is coming. So being honest, being honest about how some jobs will be it replaced. Explanability. That's to explain that, explainability, yes. accountability, and responsibility. All right.
in so the tell, AI tell people the truth. Yes. And, and, and I love how you mentioned, Prof, because this is a fear, mm -hmm. and I love how you've incorporated it into what is ethical. Yes. Speak honestly about yes. the fact that some jobs will be replaced, will be replaced. by AI. Yes. Indicate in the same breath that Others you can be, be retrained Others will be to, 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 to um, take advantage yes. of the intelligence. Yes. Yes. I love how we yes. touched on really important ethical considerations, and yes. I would love if we could do a quick roundup. I'll start yes. at the most recent. Yes. Being honest and open honest. about the impact in the workforce. Yes. Um, Ability uh, to opt in and opt um, out. The option to opt in and out. Yes. The importance of considering bias. bias. Yes. The importance of acknowledging where the data comes, comes from, from that the trains the AI. It, and how important know? privacy is. Privacy is, is very um, important. And um, I like feel like I'm, I'm missing one. But I think mm. those four yes. are, are so important. Yes. And um, ethics and what is correct yes. what is morally right yeah, for our society use of AI technology is is important, important for us as the yes. technology and to, develops and to always have an ethical guidelines yes that you make into a code so every stakeholder engagement stakeholder, that's the one we missed stakeholder engagement yes too. involving people yes involving people. those yes. five points i yes. think um help will will help us if we pay attention to them true angie if we Very pay attention true. to them true, um, and not put, as you said rightfully, yeah. prof, profit yeah. above people, people never benefits people. Never benefit people you know. uh, thank you so much for, for staying with us, for continuing the conversation. It's my pleasure. Um, we, we didn't even mention the bad part because we wanted oh, to stay positive. Part, yes. We didn't go into deep things. Yes. We, we didn't go into the misplacing and misuse of voices, voices and people's imagery. And, and, oh, and interpolation of uh, voice with, yes. with your with your image. Oh, Lord. And you are not there, you know. We haven't dealt with interference we're, in political we're, processes. No. We didn't go there. We have not even gone there. We've stuck to yeah. the benefits. <laughs> We've stuck to the positive ethical considerations. Consideration, you but know. But we can do more research, eh? I and I hope you. that's what um, persons who would have watched and listened yes. are encouraged to do from yes. this conversation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Felix no Akin Ladejo yes. of the University of Technology a stalwart in computer science with almost two decades worth of work that has certainly uh, indicated his worth to our Jamaican society. Thank you so much for sitting with us for season three. I'm so happy to have met you, sir, and congratulations on all of your accomplishments Thank you. um, here mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Thank My name you. is Angelique Vertio. I'm your host. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'll see you on the next one.